3A presents The Blood Donor. It's a grand job we're all doing. I think we can all be very proud of ourselves. Some people just take, take out of life. That's not my policy, it never has been. You only get out of life you're prepared to put into it. Do you get a badge for doing this? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Pity. I think we should have something for people to pick us out by. Surely that's not the important thing. So long as we give blood and help somebody, that's the main thing. Oh, quite, quite, quite. As long as they get the old corpuscles, that's, that's the thing. Absolutely. But we should have a little something to wear. Something to pick us out by. You know, nothing too elaborate. He gave us so others may live. <laughs> I mean, we do good as. What do you want? Money? Don't be vulgar. <laughs> I'm a great believer in charity. I'd contribute to every flag they go in. The lapels of my suits, the first things to go, covered in holes they are. <laughs> Here, to me pocket diary. Put my glasses on. All right, what have we got here? Congo relief, two and six. <laughs> Self-denial week, one and eight. Lifeboat day, a tanner. Arab refugees, one and six. Is just your first time? This is my twelfth time. Well, no need to boast about it, old man. <laughs> <laughs> how much did you give to the Arab oh, refugees? Really? Now, come on, you're going on about how many times you've been here. How much did you give to the Arab refugees? Well, if you must know, I gave five pounds. <laughs> well, some people are better placed than others, aren't they? Oh, forget all about it. <laughs> yes, OK, OK, we will. <laughs> Thank you. A bit of a big head, isn't he? <laughs> Going on about how many times he's been? He can't give to charity but raise it from the rooftops. Mm. I, I don't know. So, uh, you come here often? <laughs> I come every six months for the last 12 years. Well, you've got a bit to spare, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, too much blood is much as too little, I always say. Are you trying to be insulting? No, no, not at all. It's very laudable you give so much. I mean, I expect a woman of your build. I mean, I expect you make it up quickly. I mean, I mean to say, uh, they've certainly brightened these hospitals up, haven't they? It's the health service. Every 13 and 6 paid in, six and a half picos up on the walls. Still, it's worth it, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Forsyth, we're ready. Best of luck. Cliff Richards might get your lot. That's slowing down a bit. Are you all right? No, I'm not right. 
Perhaps the germs in your handkerchief. Sorry about that. I got very lonely sitting there. Uh, funny thing to say when you're a bit lonely. Uh, so this is a normal day for you then? Is it about normal? It's or, or is it normal? It's about average. Oh yes, quite. I mean, it's a vocation, isn't it? I've always said that. I've always said that. It's, uh, it's funny the values we place on society. I mean, you take modelling. You get some skinny bird up in the West End, all bones and salt cellars, dragging a piece of fur along a platform, 500 quid a week. And there's you lot, dedicated. I'm being trolley loads of mints about all day long. Is that right? Is that right? Because David Beckham earning 10 times as much as the Prime Minister. Is that right? Is that right? Well, it depends if you like David Beckham or what your, your politics are. So, I understand we get tea and biscuits. Yes. But no badge. No. <laughs> They're taking their time with it, aren't they? I suppose everything's all right. Yes. Just wondered. I thought some of the poor fellows might pass out the size of a needle. Seen it before. Men drill, built like oak trees, keeling over like saplings in a hurricane. Needles don't bother you, then? Me? No. I make too many of them, my dear. Arms like pink cushions. <laughs> I reckon I've had a basin full of every syringe going. Needles the size of drain pipes. We're ready for you now. Who, me? I'm in a hurry. Anybody else want to go first? You're the last one. There's nobody else. Well, this is it. Over the top. <laughs> What's he like on the needle, this bloke? You'll be perfectly all right. Has he got a steady hand? He's an excellent doctor, Dr. McTavish. You'll be all right. McTavish! He's a Scots. <laughs> First-rate doctors are Scots. It's like the engineers. It's the porridge, you know. <laughs> right. Carry on, Macduff. Here's a broom, min, nuch, nicht, the nicht. There's a bonnie lassie you've got out there. Hoot, min, the new. Would you mind sitting down over there, please, Mr. Hancock? Oh, sorry, sorry, Doctor, for lapsing into the vernacular, but the, the young lady did say you were a Scottish gentleman. We're not all Rob Roy's, you know. <laughs> Now, can I have your card, please? What goes for? Can I have your hand, please? Now, this won't hurt. You will just feel a little prick at the end of your thumb. Oh! <laughs> oh. Well, that's it. So, I bid you good day. Thank you very much. <laughs> And if you need any more, please don't hesitate to ask. Where are you going? To get me tea and biscuits. <laughs> I, I thought you came to give us some, uh, so, some of your blood. But you've just had it. Well, that, well, that was just a smear. A smear? How much do you want? <laughs> we, we, I just put in a little... Uh, little, little, little well, how much do you want? Well, a pint, of course. A pint? You go raving mad. <laughs> you must be joking. A, a pint is a perfectly normal uh, amount to take. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. You don't seriously expect me to believe that. I mean, I came in here in all good faith to help me country. But a pint? Well, that's, that's nearly an armful. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind giving up to here, but I'm not even up to here. No, that's, that's ridiculous. I've changed my mind. I'll do something else. Mr. Hancock. You obviously don't know anything about the uh, movement of the blood in the body. Uh, you, 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 a, a, a man with, uh, with an empty arm, uh, uh, you, you wouldn't have an empty arm. You wouldn't have an empty anything. Uh, blood circulates in the body all the time. Now listen, and it's someone that has uh, good health can feel no ill effects at all from it. Now listen here, chum. Everyone to their own trade. I grant you. 
But if I have eight pints, I need eight pints. <laughs> and not sevens I will have when you finish with me. No, I'm sorry. I'll I do something else. I'll be, I'll be a traffic warden. <laughs> I can't force you to give up your blood. Uh, but uh, it's a great shame, because you are uh, a, a, a B negative. Really? Yes. Is that bad? No, because you're a rhesus positive. Rhesus? Rhesus? They're monkeys, aren't they? <laughs> I haven't come here to be insulted by a legalised vampire. <laughs> Mr. Hancock, uh, that, was your, that is your blood group. AB a- a- negative. Uh, um, very rare indeed, one of the rarest of all. Oh, very rare, eh? Very rare indeed, well, yes. I always thought I was somebody special. Very rare. Well, I would like to hog it also to speak. <laughs> so, uh, let's put a different complexion on the matter. Thank you very much, Mr. Hancock. In that case, uh, I'll do it. Us AB negatives must stick together. A minority group like us we could be persecuted. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Hancock. I'm very grateful to you. Now, if you just take off your coat and put it over there, and uh, um, it won't take long. You will be home very soon, free, free, free to go wherever you like. Tea and biscuits. <laughs> Would you roll up your sleeve? By the way, what group are you? Group A. <laughs> <laughs> now, thank you. Yes, that's <laughs> Oh my, oh my God, oh. oh.